Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting tutorials here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really cute but easy pillowcases. And they only require sewing three seams. And this is using the burrito or roll-up pillowcase method. And it's not really nothing new, it's been around for quite a while. But I still wanted to show you all how to do it in case it is new to some of you all. The pillowcases I'm going to show you how to make are the measurements for a standard pillowcase, but if you need it to fit a king size pillow, you just add a couple of inches to the main body fabric and then it will be large enough to fit the larger pillows. To start, you will need three fabrics. The body fabric is 27 inches long, the accent is 2 inches, and the cuff is 10 inches. All of these fabrics need to be the width that they are when they come off the bolt. So from the selvage to selvage, they will measure 41 to 45 inches depending on the particular fabric, and from cut edge to cut edge should be the previously noted measurements. Start by folding the accent fabric in half, wrong sides together, and iron. Then we will start the layering. First, lay the cuff fabric right sides up, then the body fabric right sides up, on top. Make sure you are lining up the raw edges at the top and the selvage edges on one side. If the selvages don't all line up on the other end, that is totally fine, it will be trimmed later. Next, place your accent piece on top, lining up the raw edges. Then you can pin through all the layers. Make sure the pin heads are sticking out the top so you can pull them out again in a minute. At this point, the stack should look like this. Then begin to roll up the long body fabric. Keep rolling until the cuff fabric is showing from underneath. Then bring the cuff fabric around and line it up with all the raw edges at the top. By doing this, it will hide all the seam allowances inside once sewn. Remove the pins from before one by one and repin through all the layers. Now it should look like this. Then sew all the way along the top edge. You can sew with a 1 fourth or half inch seam allowance. Then reach in through the side and begin to pull out all the fabric rolled up inside. When it's all the way out, you should have the body, accent, and cuff on the front and the body and cuff on the back with all the seam allowances hidden inside. At this point, the selvages need to be trimmed off. I like to use a rotary cutter and ruler to get an extra straight cut. Once the selvages are trimmed off, it's time to sew the French seams. For this, layer the piece folded in half so the wrong sides are together. Line up the raw edges and pen along the open side and bottom. Sew along the side and bottom with a quarter inch seam allowance. At this point, it should look like you sewed it backwards, but that's actually right for French seams. Next, trim the seam allowance down to about one eighth of an inch. Then flip it inside out and iron along the seam lines so they are nice and flat. Lastly, sew along the same side and bottom one more time with the right sides together. Use a seam allowance at least one fourth of an inch wide. Your seam allowances should all be now enclosed in the French seam and your pillowcase is complete. Flip it right sides out and you're ready to use it. I ended up
ended up making two different pillowcases for myself using just some fun, bright fabrics that I've had sitting around my sewing room for entirely too long. And I know they don't match my bedding at all, but I don't mind because they're so fun and I never use the coordinating pillowcases anyway. Since me and Jeremiah both use two pillows each, there's never enough of the matching pillowcases to go around, so I usually just end up using some random vintage ones that I have, but now I have my own fun pillowcases that I created just for me. So there you have it. You can now make your own super fun and easy pillowcases and they are so easy to whip up. They are easy to personalize with different fabrics and it would be really fun if you made some extra ones and you could send them home with overnight guests and that way they have a little gift to take back with them after they stay a night at your house. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I have a lot more fun sewing tutorials coming your way. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share the video. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.